Hey there, I'm Jason and today I'm going to show you how to put together your flute. The first thing you need to make sure of is that the flute is on the floor in front of you with the handle facing you and the handle side on the bottom. See how the handle is attached to this side of the case and not this one? That's the way you want it. Once you've got that, you're going to open the latches upward and slowly open the lid. Now within the case, there are three parts to the flute. The head joint, the body joint, and the foot joint. You're going to pick up the body joint, which is the longest piece with all the keys on it. When you look at the body joint, you'll see that one side has no keys on it, and the other one has keys right up to the edge here where this collar is. Pick up the head joint, which has no keys on it. Now, once again, there are no keys on this side, there are no keys on the head joint, which tells you that this is the side that the head joint goes on to. Slide it in with a gentle twisting motion back and forth. The other end of the flute has keys, and when you look at the foot joint, you'll see that there are keys right up to the edge here, but not here. You want these keys to match up with those keys, so we gentle twisting motion back and forth. Once you have the instrument assembled, you're going to want to make sure that the parts align in such a way that work with your body mechanics. Here's a phrase that I'd like you to remember. Hole, keys, rod. When we look at the instrument starting at the head joint going all the way down to the foot, we want to align this hole of the head joint with the row of keys that are on the body. So it's a straight line from that hole right down those keys. As for the foot joint, it works a little differently. Because your pinky finger is a little shorter than the rest of your fingers on your hand, we have to actually align the keys of the body with the rod of the foot joint. See the keys there and the rod there and see how they line up? That way, when you have your hands on the flute, the pinky finger doesn't have to overstretch to play the pinky keys. The next thing is to know where to put your fingers. When you place your left thumb on the back of the instrument, you're going to notice that there are two different keys here that the thumb can play. There's one shaped like a golf club and one shaped like a cricket bat. You want to put your thumb on that cricket bat. On the front of the flute, you're going to want to remember this. Skip a key, one skip a key, two, three. Once again, we skip that key and put our first finger down. We skip that key, then our middle finger, then our ring finger. Skip a key, one, skip a key, two, three. The pinky finger will be resting on this golf club shaped key that you won't use for a little while when you first start. With your other hand, we want to start with our pinky finger. And our pinky finger is going to play the first key of the foot joint there. Then the next three keys up are for your ring finger, middle finger, and index finger. Once you have your fingers on the proper keys, what I want you to do is make sure that your body is aligned with your head above your shoulders. I don't want your head to the side or forward or tilted or anything. Properly aligned. You then bring the flute to your face, and we hold it parallel to the floor. You should not bring your face to the flute. Always bring the instrument to you. Keep that elbow down and place the instrument's mouthpiece right up against your lower lip. There are two main body positions that we use when playing the flute, and we can use them seated or standing. The first is in playing position. And that's the one where we bring the instrument up to our face, like this. When you're not playing, you need to be in rest position. And most often, that one's going to be done seated. Rest position has you resting the flute gently on your left leg while holding it gently with your left hand. If you're left-handed, you would, of course, switch. You then free up the other hand to turn pages, change pieces, or make markings with a soft pencil. 